This week on Pinks, motorcycles. Sacramento Raceway plays host to the best of two out of three drag races. Paul Pollywood Hart on the Harley Davidson V Rod versus Mike Voorhees on the Suzuki 1100. Pink's Racing. Lose the race, lose your ride. Let's race. I'm taking that at home. <laughs> Just well, not a checkered flag. It's a motorcycle flag. <laughs> we got ourselves a race. Bring it on. Mike? I think Paul just pulled in. This is my guy? He is, he's here. Are you set up enough? You ready for him? I'm ready. Okay, well let's bring him in and we'll get this thing started. So I just want to say hello and we'll go, Great. okay? So what do we got here? It's a little classic, it's a 83 GS 1100E. And believe it or not, this, I don't even know if this bike's ever seen a racetrack, let alone been on one. But uh, its heritage is nothing but race. How you doing? Welcome, man. Paul. Thanks for coming, man. This is unbelievable. Actually, uh, Mike is already here. You know, I wanted to bring this thing out. I wanted to see who I could go up against. And I have a little bit of drag racing experience. It's been a long time. It's been about six years and 40 pounds later. But I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to see if I can't add another bike to my stable at home. Go get set up and let's, uh, let's rock and roll. And, and we'll get the things going, OK? Right. Now that's a ride. This yeah. is the ride, huh? You bet. Oh, man. Yeah. They should get it. I can't believe you're willing to race that thing. Good thing I, uh, I packed on this extra 40 pounds, you know, make this race a little fairer. OK, so what, what do you got going here now? All right, this is the uh, new Harley-Davidson 2003 V-Rod. Harley built this thing for uh, performance reasons, and uh, that's why I brought it out here. I mean, it's, it's a performance bike, even though it's a Harley Davidson. The motor was built by uh, Porsche, spent extensive time testing and tuning. Right now, it's winning in all kinds of different events. And we see that there's a, a bit of a, well, you know this guy over here. That's Mikey. I, I, can't, believe it. I can't believe it's Paul Hart. You know, that, that's going to look pretty good in my garage. Go Paul, come on with me. Mike. Mike. Paul, hey. <laughs> What's up, brother? You guys have known each other for a long time. You know, Paul, Mike has already agreed that if he loses this race today and you outperform him, well, he has signed a bill of sale saying that he will sell you his Suzuki for $1. Now, we're asking you right now, are you willing to sell your motorcycle for $1 to Mike? Yeah, um, not just a grudge match, just pride. When we talk, it's going to be us three right here at this spot for negotiation. If you at any time you want to go speak with your, your oh, team, okay. you walk away from here. But this is the point where the negotiations go down. This is a portion where um, you have the opportunity to look at your competition's bike, sit on it, start it up. And when you're do done doing that, let me know. And then we're going to meet back here, and we're going to do our practice runs. And you can get your gear on, and we're going to start racing. OK? Sounds good. Good. Yeah. Great, let's do it. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Already? That's just a, a teaser. That's just a teaser. When I first thought that it might possibly be a Harley Davidson, you know, it's, it's like a give me. It's like an automatic win. But uh, now that I see this this bike and, and Paul Hart, you know, anything could go. Anything could happen. It's burning a little rich out of the pipe. <laughs> it's not burning very clean. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a pretty good launch off the line. Uh, the the low-end torque of this motorcycle is greater than mine. It's an $18,000 bike. This is a $4,000 bike. I mean, is this a, is the grudge mean that much to you that, that you take this kind of risk? Well, I'm taking a risk because I'm confident. I don't ever do anything, you know. It, it's not that I don't do anything, but I mean, I'm doing this to win. I'm not, I'm not doing it just for the fun of it. Some friends of mine, they're, they're trying to uh, take my bike away from me on TV and, and uh, bring it on, you know. I'm not, I'm not gonna let it happen. I think it's gonna kind of, Backfire a little bit on him. Hollywood, right here. Hollywood. You like my jacket? He's, he's leather from head to toe. Oh, that's Paul Hart. That's what he does. No leathers today? I could damn near do this in a shorts and t-shirt. Looking good, man. Okay. We did a little tune-ups this morning on it, so we'll see if it runs a little bit better than last night. And we had a computer to update some uh, rev limiter, but we just didn't have the time to put it in. How are we looking, Chief? We're getting ready to rock here. Paul, I need your bike. Bring the bike, line it up. Mike Voorhees, 
Time to bring the bike. Line it up. Time to bring the bike. Line it up. Where's my umbrella girl? Come on, Willie. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? I got a little umbrella girl. I got Hollywood's got to have an umbrella girl. Wendy, at this point, only the two racers can be in this okay. at this point. So I need you to step back off to the side, okay. but thank you for coming over. Okay. And uh, we'll see you in a second. Okay. okay. This is the point where the negotiations start. What we're going to do is first decide what this race is going to be, and then you're allowed to each do a practice run, and you get to watch your component do that practice run. Okay. So at this point, what race are you both comfortable with? Because it, uh, starting is so important. If you're up here and I see you move your arms just a tiny bit, mm -hmm. I'm going to go. Okay. So I'd rather have you start down, mm -hmm. touching your side, and pull up. Is that agreeable with you, Mike? Sounds good to okay. me. Okay. What is the distance that we're looking at for here? Let's go to the end. So it's a quarter mile race. We both, You both agree on that? Yep. First man to finish wins the race. I highly recommend that you have one of your people down there to see how far you won or lost by because when we come back from the first race, that's when you'll negotiate for lengths. Are, or, there, are there any uh, times being told? or do we, There are, are no times being told. So this we is, don't know if we're faster than the other guy or not. No, you won't know, but you'll be able to hear what your, other, what your competitor bikes sound like, how fast he is off the line. This is for you to observe his practice run and for you guys both to get a practice run at. We're agreed on the race. We know what it's going to be. Yes. Yeah. It's time for a practice run. We'll come back, he's gonna tell me how it felt, and um, and then we'll send you off. Did you feel comfortable? Did everything feel right? Felt good. It came up a little bit higher than I wanted it to, but you know, I kind of expected to be surprised with something. So everything's good, you're feel comfortable. Good. Yeah. Can I I can let uh, Paul do his run now. Let him go. Very nice. He was spinning the wheel, so he's moving forward. What is he going to have to do to compensate? Well, I, I believe that bike has a hydraulic clutch on it, so that's going to be difficult to manipulate. You know, that's not going to be in his advantage uh, if, if he spins, that, spins like that again, because I, I will take advantage of that, believe me. How'd it feel, bud? Uh, I broke loose too hard. Well, I guess I did, huh? Yeah, you did. Yeah, just, you know, first time. So uh, okay. I hit the rev limiter a couple times. I need to uh, watch my speed. Rich, what adjustment are you making? I'm gonna let some air out of the rear tire in hopes that it'll gain a little bit better traction. Off the start. And yeah. will there be any other adjustments at this time? Nope. Okay. Just me, myself. Paul, we need you to negotiate for the first race. Okay. Mike? I'd like you here, Mike, I'd like you here. Thank you. At this time, guys, you did, you did both did nice practice runs, and I think you learned something about how you're gonna run today. This is where the rubber hits the road, as they say, and, and we have to really finalize this racing and, and how we're gonna do it. For this first run, how would you like to decide which lane that you take? Stay where we're at. It's fine with me. Stay where we're at. Okay. The big question, do you wanna do a heads-up race for the first one, or are you, is either of you looking for a length at this particular time? Heads up. Heads up. Shake on it. It's a done deal. And we race in about two minutes. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, Mike. Let's do it. OK, right. let's go. Again, Mike has agreed to sell his for a dollar if he loses to you today. And you've, at this time, verbally said that you would do this. Just sign your name, print your name, and sign it, and we'll be good to go. Whew. I can't even write. Yeah, a little, uh, little, little shaky from that run. There's a lot of, a lot of riding on Yeah. <laughs> Do you have someone down at the finish line to represent you? Okay, Rich, so we need to give you time to get down Go there. Go ahead, dude. So you better head down Thanks, now. Thanks, man. Okay. I think I'm gonna stay right here okay. in this lane right here, guys. <sighs> lot on the, lot on the, uh, the grid here, huh? It's just not a checkered flag. It's a motorcycle, man. <laughs> Oh, 
You're good here. Good luck. Six bike lengths. Wow, okay. Thank you. Wasn't ready on that start. Wasn't, we're not, wasn't ready? No, that's all right. I, I couldn't hear your RPM. That's all right. We can, we can try to negotiate, let him know. I got two more. But you should let him know that that happened. I will. We might do it again, if you guys agree to it. No, I say we go for it. Let's talk to Paul, I want this fair. You got lucky on that one. Let's renegotiate. Park the bikes. We'll try this again. We got two more to go. Yeah, I don't know if that was my fault because I wasn't ready or if it all happened real quick. Let's let's talk about this just for a second. On the first race, well, I got word that you won by about five or six bike lengths. Would you agree that he beat you on that race? Yes, he did. So he outperformed you that time. Now let's find out why, what you thought happened. Mike had a problem with the start. He wasn't ready when I put my arms down. So we either can talk about doing, running it again, or you give him the first race and he accepts it. But that means if he beats you on this next race, you lose your bike. There's only two races today. Do you want him to accept this win or would you like- I want him to accept the win. Let's go again. Let's two more races. If this happens again. You stop the race. Don't, if you, if you weren't ready and it's legitimate. I'm gonna start this time like this and come down. When I hit there, be ready to- Make sure we're focusing on you. Okay, so when you look at me, we're, we're all agreed on that. One race now of this series has gone to Paul. That's right. Okay, let's go again. And we're not looking for any bike lengths here. Nope. Straight up? Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. This could be the final race of today. Okay. Good luck, gentlemen. All right. I'm taking that at home. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. You got lucky, buddy. We got ourselves a race. Very nice. Bobbed off the line. I, uh, I, I, I had it on the rev limiter, yep. but uh, the clutch, I told you the clutch was bad when it pulled out. The nice clutch job, is dragging buddy. instead nice of hitting. Right. So it's bogging the motor down, the clutch is. Yeah. It might have been a little bit my fault. You're a fat old man, huh? Come on over, guys. Let's do it over here. Walk away from your crew. This is about you two at this point. Um, that's great. Good job, Mike. This is very good. Nice job on that. Okay, now listen. Paul, would you agree on that race that Mike outperformed you and he won that race? Yeah. And how? And would you agree that you won that race? Hell yeah, I won that race. How much did you win that race by, in your opinion? You know, I didn't even look. Do you? A couple know? bikes, maybe. Yeah, it was, it was at least four bike lengths. So we have basically a four bike length win by you in the first race, a four bike length win by you in the second race. As you know with Pinks, this is what we like the most is when it comes down to the final race. This is the most important negotiation that you have. If, they're, if you're gonna pull out the stops, now's the time. This is the race where the winner takes the other person's bike. There's a huge discrepancy in the amount of value between your bike and your bike. Yeah, but that bike is, is backed by millions of dollars. They, that bike is to them. 
Okay. I'm taking that bike. Okay. Okay. And I'm not gonna have a problem well, with. Someone's it. gotta lose. Someone's gotta lose. But I'm not losing, man. Well, now is the negotiation. What would you guys like to do? Is it a straight up run? Are you asking for a length? Are you asking for a length? Where are we at right now? I mean, I can't get a length. I'd be cheating. I'm not gonna beat them fair and square as it is. Do you want a length? Do you want a head start? My clutch is fried. It's already overheated. And that's why it drug from the start. And I know that. If we didn't go up there and race right now, we gave you a half hour or 15 minutes, would that help in this process? Actually, it would. Cool, cool the clutch down. He should have been prepared for that. It's a Harley Davidson. It's, it's bound to have but, problems. Okay. <laughs> the, fact, the fact that he's in this situation and we're trying to get a fair race here, is it unreasonable for him to ask you for a little bit of time to, so you no, have no, a straight no, up no. race? So, so, so how much time would you either, like? Either give me some time and one bike length, or we'll go right now for three bike lengths. I'll give you some time and one bike length. How much time would you like? It's a hot day, it's almost 90 something out here. Let's go 15. We'll take a 15 minute break to let the bikes cool down, work on your bike, do what you need to get it taken care of. You're gonna get a one bike length lead and we're gonna race in 15 minutes. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Let's do this. All Very right, good. Man. Very good, please. <laughs> Come on, sportsmanship. <laughs> 15 minutes. Okay. There's a 15 minute break while the Harley Davidson cools down. You're just, you're just ready to go right now. I'm ready to go. It's a good negotiation. It's fair. Yeah. No, it's good. That's one of the beauties about racing Harley Davidson's. Tell me about you know? it. I'm surprised <laughs> it made it out this far. What you do is you take, lift up the gas cap and roll a reel bike underneath it and put the gas cap back down. Then you got a race bike. I felt that clutch last night and I was a little skeptic about it. But, you know, I hope the, hope the race isn't over a clutch. Paulie might be upset if he loses his bike, huh? He might take it a little bit harder than I thought he was. It's pretty nerve-shaking, though, man. We're on the edge, man. One win against, one, one win apiece. It's all right. Next one's for real. Next one's for real. He's actually, he's, uh, he's right there. If, uh, if I screw up, he can have it. So I just gotta make sure I do everything just right, and hopefully it'll turn out good. Obviously, 15 minutes have gone by. We've negotiated the race. Do you feel like you've had sufficient enough time, you know, to have your bike cool down? I'm sure it's better than it was. Okay, and you were gracious enough to give him the 15 minutes. Now you've agreed to give him one length. Yep. And we're ready to go here. This is it, guys. This is the final race. Whoever loses this one loses their vehicle to the other person, okay? When you get done with this race, please just return back to the spot, get off your bikes, and come meet me back at the spot, no matter what the outcome. I think we're set, man. Let's go, final race. Good buddy. luck, Mike. Good luck, Paul. Let's Rich. have a good race. Thanks, man. Ollie. All right, Mike. All right, buddy. All right. One up and so far. You behave, all right? All right. Take it? We got it! Okay, congratulations, we man. We got it! Congratulations. Woo! I was worried there for a second. I don't know what to say, Mike. Hey, say, uh, you're welcome. Good job, buddy. Well, well not really, huh? <laughs> not really, huh? <laughs> well, can you guys tell me about the race on that, that final race? You know, I don't know. I, I didn't put it in the bag until after I passed him. I, I wasn't sure I was going to pass him. It was him. the last It uh, seemed like you had a feet. good jump, a really good start. Yeah. So it came down to 100 feet. Yeah, last 100 feet. So yeah, if you had to do it over again, Paul, would you think that uh, more time, a couple more lengths, what would have helped you out? It, honestly, I got a decent launch. The clutch cooled down. Uh, if I would have had the programmer, I would have had the rev limiter up a little higher. And I think I would have pulled him by that 100 feet. Was that your A game, both two races? I just had a good feeling that, that Suzuki could beat that Harley. 
And the only real intimidating factor was that Paul Hart was riding it. And uh, it, it showed too. It's, uh, I don't know if anybody else could have done as good a job on that bike as he did. Uh, I really didn't think it was a done deal trying to catch him on that third race until, uh, until I did. And then uh, I just was praying I wouldn't miss a shift or it wouldn't pop out of gear or something silly like that. And she stayed tight. And Mike deserves it, man. You know, he really does. And, you know, I was, we were right there. It was, we were both guessing each time around. So well, I want to thank you guys both. And, and uh, uh, you're taking home an $18,000 bike in your trailer yeah, tonight. I know. I'm a little, uh, a little overwhelmed with that. I don't know what to think yet. That concludes Pink's, guys. Thanks for racing. And you did a great job. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Rich, great for a job. great show, man. Hopefully next time I'll have a jet on the back or something. <laughs> Good. We look forward to racing again. <laughs> Better sell the Harley. Yeah, man, it's unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, well, now you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> don't have to worry about it, man. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. Ken, get that four sale sign out of the truck, would you? I definitely don't like losing. Nobody does, but that sucks. Well, if you need a ride to work tomorrow, give me a call. I don't know. I might just have to keep this thing, huh? Heck of a win. Yep. It's a nice bike. Good job, man. Thanks. Thanks. Good win. Oh, crap. Mm. You got everything we came with? No. Remember? We came with one, we were supposed to go home with two. Now what? All right, Mike, good luck, man. Hey, see you, Paul. Thank you very much. Right, maybe I can take it for a ride next week. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks, crew.